Special Agent Wilbert Matterhorn has been doing a lot of work recently and his vehicle is starting to get pretty messed up. So today we're going to tag along with him and go and look at some of the best secret agent slash CEO vehicles you could buy in GTA Online. We're starting at this dealership here which specializes in SUVs. As we walk inside, there's four beautiful vehicles sitting here. Let's start off by taking a look at the Landstalker XL. This vehicle will cost $1,220,000 and it has a top speed of 100 miles per hour. And if you were to fully max it out, it'll cost you about $362,000 and looks absolutely stunning blacked out. The vehicle itself looks really realistic since it was released recently in GTA Online. And one thing I really like about it is the secondary color changes all of the trim, including the grill. It doesn't matter which model you pick, no matter what, the entirety of the grill will be affected by whatever the secondary color is, which I really like and I think Wilbert will as well. Considering the low price of only 1.2 mil, it's definitely not a bad vehicle. Jumping into the next one is going to be the Baller LE LWB Armored, and this is obviously a perfect vehicle for Wilbert or any of you aspiring secret agents and CEOs out there because one, it's fairly cheap, only sitting at $500,000 with a top speed of about 107 miles per hour. Plus, it's also bullet resistant from every single one of the windows and it can withstand one homing missile before blowing up, which is really beneficial. So you might want to keep this vehicle in mind as well. Wilbert is a huge fan of BMWs and the Rebella GTS is based off his favorite model, the X5 in real life. You could purchase this for $1.1 million and it has a top speed of 123 miles per hour. He also tends to watch a lot of action movies like Olympus Has Fallen or White House Down and other ones like that. And in a lot of those movies, they tend to drive around BMW SUVs, which is why he's such a huge fan of it. Plus, there's also a ton of customization room, and if you did want to max it out, it'll cost you about $388,000. And its performance is also pretty amazing, considering it's all-wheel drive. So if you're looking at buying a BMW, I'd highly recommend getting the Rebla GTS. Next is the Dubsta 2, and this vehicle is fairly rare in GTA Online, so Wilbert's pretty damn happy that they have it at this dealership. You can actually get it completely free if you call up Miss Baker, request one of her Dubsta substitutes in and drive to certain locations and you'll be able to find it on the map which is really awesome you can bring it into the custom shop completely max it out black it out and one of the best parts is this is one of the only vehicles in gta online that can be fitted with a tinted windshield which makes it even more desirable for your future endeavors as a secret agent the dealership decided to let wilbert take out the dubsta 2 on a 24-hour loan but he's not done shopping for cars yet he's gonna head on over to paradise motors which is actually just down the road and at this dealership this is where you'll find all of the awesome supercars and sports cars that would fit his needs perfectly. Let's start from the left side with the beautiful Champion. You could purchase it for $2,995,000 or unlock the trade price and get it for $2.2 million. It has a top speed of 124 miles per hour, it's rear wheel drive, and you can max it out for $1.3 million. Of course, the reason why is because you can put armor plating on there and a Monty Tech, which will really benefit you driving around the streets of Los Santos. And you can't forget about this, it could take 11 homing missiles before it blows up, which is also extremely beneficial, so he's definitely going to keep this vehicle in mind. Next, he's going to be checking out one of the nicest supercar brands in Los Santos, Progen. Specifically, he's going to drive around the T20, which you could buy for $2.2 million with a 122 mile per hour top speed. This thing is all-wheel drive and can be fully maxed out for about $280,000. Sadly, there really isn't too many modifications you could put on it, but at the same time, you really don't need it. It would be nice if we had some more, but Wilbert really does doesn't care because he's just looking for a fast, reliable car that looks beautiful blacked out. And the Progen T20 definitely checks that box. Next up is a cheaper car, the 8F Drafter, which you can get for $718,000 and it has 117 mile per hour top speed. It's all wheel drive and can be fully maxed out for $382,000. Plus, this thing looks absolutely stunning blacked out and sounds amazing. It may not be the best car for undercover work because of that loud ass exhaust system, but its sleek design and aggressive look make it very, very desirable. Wilbert was really looking forward to take this thing for a spin, the Jugular. He could purchase 
purchase it for $1.2 million or unlock the trade price and get it for 918,000 bucks. It has a top speed of 126 miles per hour, it's all wheel drive and it'll cost about $368,000 to max out. The reason this vehicle is so desirable to him is because it fits everything perfectly. It's amazing on the roads, but when you take it off road, its handling is impeccable. You can't forget that it also has a top speed of 126 miles per hour, and that's on a flat terrain. If you're chasing somebody downhill, it's going to be really hard for them to get away. Next is the Shafter V12 Armored, and this is the perfect budget buy vehicle. It only costs $325,000 to purchase, and it has a top speed of 123 miles per hour. It's rear wheel drive, and it'll cost a total of $149,000 to max out, and it can also withstand one homing missile or RPG, which is outstanding. Luckily, Wilbur isn't really short on money, but I bet a lot of you guys out there don't want to spend millions of dollars on cars when you don't have to, because this car, like I said, is the perfect budget buy. Next up is the Kamada, which you could purchase for $1.7 million or unlock the trade price and get it for $1.27 million. It has a top speed speed of 123 miles per hour, it's rear wheel drive, and it'll cost about $406,000 to max out. Once again, Wilbert is looking for a nice car to fit all of his needs, and a car that looks beautiful is definitely one of those needs, and the Kamada is perfect at that. It looks absolutely stunning, and just like the ADAF Drafter, it has a very, very aggressive front end, which once again is very appealing to him, so it's definitely one of those cars that he's going to be considering. Next is the Paragon R Armored, which you can actually get for free by completing six of Miss Baker's contact missions. It has a top speed of 121 miles per hour, it's all-wheel drive, and it'll cost about $334,000 to max out, and can withstand one homing missile or RPG before being blown up. If you don't want to complete those contact missions, you could just buy the regular Paragon for $905,000, but then again, it will come with less amenities. The Paragon R Armored is absolutely perfect, and who wouldn't love to drive around a blacked out Bentley as a secret service agent, a secret agent, or a CEO? Next up, another vehicle that is perfect for Wilbert, the Buffalo STX, which you could purchase for $2.1 million or unlock the trade price and get it for $1.6 million. It has a whopping top speed of 126 miles per hour. It can also withstand 11 homing missiles before being blown up, and it'll cost, once again, $1.3 million to max out because it can be fitted with armor and a monitor tech which is super useful plus those dual machine guns on the front end are probably going to come in handy if you need them. It's a really beautiful car and it's definitely an upgrade from the regular Buffalo that Wilbur used to drive around back in the day. Next he's going to take the Didy out for a spin. You can purchase this thing for 1.8 million bucks or you can unlock the trade price and get it for 1.3 million. It has a top speed of 117 miles per hour, it's rear wheel drive, and it can also withstand 11 homing missiles before being blown up. Once again it It'll cost $1.3 million to max out, since it can be fitted with armor plating and Imani tech, another very useful thing to have in GTA Online. Plus, a little benefit over the Paragon R, all those extra amenities, plus it's a four-door Bentley, so any of his colleagues he needs to drive around, they can be driven around in style, or who knows, maybe he'll let them drive. Wilbert does have a pretty damn big decision to make, because all of these cars are pretty damn beautiful. So while he's making that decision, Let's talk about a few honorable mentions, like for example, the Rumpo Custom, which you could buy for only $130,000 with a 98 mile per hour top speed, it's all wheel drive, and it'll cost you about 263 grand to max out. I'd say this is more of a heist vehicle, but at the same time, if you're doing some surveillance, a van like this is pretty much perfect, plus it looks awesome and it's great at driving off road. Alongside that, the JB700, which you could grab for 350 grand with a 119 mile per hour top speed. It can be maxed out for about 263 grand, and it's perfect if you want that classic secret agent look. Or maybe you're into more modern Aston Martins, you should check out the 770. For $695,000, you get a car that can go about 123 miles per hour, and can be maxed out for about 287 grand. It's definitely not a bad option. In terms of what Wilbur did, well, he's been saving up money 
money for decades, so he decided to splurge and purchase all of these cars and store them in his mega mansion he just bought from Franklin recently. They're all beautiful, and like I said, there really isn't a wrong answer here. They're all perfect vehicles for secret agent work, secret service work, or for being a CEO. Anyways, Wilbert needs to cut, he's gonna take out his brand new champion because he's got some work to do, and unfortunately it's classified, so we can't really know anything about it. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video, I hope you went on to enjoy it, and let me know down below if you guys decide to be a secret agent in GTA Online, which vehicle would you buy? With that said, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.